Hello, and welcome to Larry Has Opinions. A few weeks ago, Bob the Booker convinced me to go and attend the final ceremony for the Polari Prize Award at the South Bank Centre here in London. And the winning book was announced as A Dutiful Boy. And that kind of got me curious because the author was also accepting the prize at the ceremony. He seemed a pretty nice guy with a quite interesting story to tell. So I thought I would give it a go. It's a fairly traditional memoir in its structure, with the author telling us about his story and his life in first person. And we start from his childhood, where he grows up in London in a very conservative Muslim family, with his parents having migrated from Pakistan previously. And growing up, he starts to realize he's attracted to men, that homosexuality is not really an option open to him in that environment. And we follow his life in his teenage years and adult years and his struggle trying to negotiate and reconcile the person that he is with the person that he thinks people around him expect him to be. And the theme that constantly shines through the book is his love for his family. In similar situations, quite often, it might just be easier for a lot of people to just cut any ties with your past, cut any ties with your family, and just move on and build a new life for yourself in a new environment. But that wasn't an option open to him either because of how deep his attachment to his family was. I have to admit that the first 20 to 30% of the book hadn't me quite sold on it. Um, I was finding the writing a little bit plain and some of the themes not explored in as much depth as I was perhaps hoping for. However, having gone past that, I found myself really engrossed in the story very quickly and I found it a real page turner, incredibly easy to get through. And by the end, uh, I would say it completely won me over and I found myself really rooting for, for the author to have a happy resolution to, to the story. And I really, really enjoyed it in the end. One of the things that I really appreciated was the really vivid portraits of the friends and family around the author. By the end of the book, you really feel like you almost know these people. And obviously, even though they're real people, sometimes authors of memoirs don't necessarily do this successfully. But in this case, I think it was very, very well executed. And I really like the exploration of the theme of how we love people or can love people who hold really firm convictions and opinions that we brutally disagree with. And they're not just abstract opinions about things that happen somewhere in the world, uh, but they're things that really touch us deeply and affect who we are and how we live our lives. And more generally, just the exploration of prejudice and individuality in even in an environment like London, where you would think anybody should be free to follow their, their aspiration and live their lives freely. But clearly there's a lot of very different situations within a really complex reality. And while the story might not fully resonate with some of the younger generations that luckily are grown up in an environment that is a lot of more accepting of homosexuality and of differences. Um, a lot of the older people as well, like myself, will definitely see a lot that they can relate to even personally um, when it comes to negotiating and accepting uh, your identity and your sexuality uh, in an environment that, that might not be um, particularly friendly from that perspective. But the aspect that I appreciated the most is, and this might just be my own very personal takeaway, not necessarily something the author is deliberately trying to push or anything, but is in this age of identity politics and having this really strong trend towards pigeonholing people based on gender, age, sexual orientation, uh, race, uh, how in this case it's his own individuality that is first and foremost and really shines through the story. Um, and there's this quote uh, from an interview that uh, he gave where he says, for gays, I was too Muslim. For Muslims, I was too gay. For whites, I was too brown. And for my family, I was too white. And I think this is a really nice summary of what this memoir is all about, how sometimes People struggle to fit into these communities, if we can call them communities, uh, because we don't necessarily fit into those stereotypes that these communities are supposed to, to represent. And I really just enjoy overall how through this really dark path 
of loneliness, of depression, of this difficult um, familial situation that he had to get through, how he found this um, really hopeful uh, place and really successful life for himself. Um, and even though for the most part, I always enjoy really depressing stories, depressing books in this case, uh, I really like this hopeful and happy story for once. So for all these reasons, my uh, rating for this book is 9 out of 10. I hope you guys like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. If you want to join our Discord, the link is in the description box. And I'll see you the next time.